get you is you have to see them. Right. By 5.30, huh? Yeah, I can make it to your store by then. Yeah, so long. Bye-bye. Mm. Carlton! Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. Yeah, Carlton, this is Rhoda. I'm gonna need a cab. Okay, goodbye. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Carlton, today we're gonna try a new system, all right? Oh. Yeah, I don't need that cab for an hour, but I think you should start looking for it now, since it's so difficult to find a, a cab in the rain. Rain? Is it raining? It's pouring out. Oh, so that's how my shoes got wet. Carlton, you have one hour to get me a cab. Go. I love strong women. <laughs> Brenda? Yeah. Great. Come Hi. on. You got a minute? Just about that, Bren. I've got to get these sketches downtown by 5.30. So, yes. what's up? Well, Nick's coming over, and uh, I just... Brenda, whoa, whoa, whoa. When it comes to Nick Lobo, you're, you're talking to the wrong person. Please, you know how I feel about that guy. Yeah, yeah, sure, I do. But I need to ask someone, and he's coming over, and I need some advice. I'll give you some advice. Lock your doors and don't answer your telephone. <laughs> Hold up, please. All right, all right, Brenda. What is it? Well, I think Nick is going to hit me up for some money. You think? Has he asked you for money? No, uh, no, 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 no. But a couple times on the phone, he's hinted that things are going rough for him. See, Nick and the quarter cats just aren't getting the club dates they expected to. Five accordions and a drum, I wonder why. <laughs> well, so anyway, what do you think? Should I lend him money? Brenda, the guy's a deadbeat. Come on, you lend him money, you'll never see it again. So what do you think? <laughs> I think this is foolish. This entire discussion is foolish anyway because you don't have the money to lend him. Well, no, I, I have managed to save up a oh, little. Oh, really, really, how much? About $500. You're kidding me. 500 bucks you saved? Mm. Great. Thank you. What, are you crazy? You worked for six years, you saved $500? You're gonna give it all to Nick Lobo? I didn't say I was gonna give it all to him. I know for sure I'm gonna keep at least 50 for me. Oh. <laughs> well, come on, no, please. I'll tell you something else. Yeah. Worst thing in the world for a relationship is to lend money. I mean, one sure way to break up a relationship is... Lend him the money. Give him every cent you have. I'll give him some money myself. No, Lola, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm just asking for trouble. Maybe I shouldn't lend him the money. Right. Yeah, Carlton. Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. Is your sister up there? Yeah, Brenda's here. What do you want, Carlton? There's a gentleman to see her. Mm. Who is it? Just a minute. Take it, sir. <laughs> so cute. Maybe I'll just give him a hundred dollars. <laughs> Come on in, Nick. Hey, hey, little fox, how you doing? Hi, how are you doing? I'll let you know in a minute. Uh... Oh, hey, whoa, Brenda, what's the matter here? Well, I haven't seen you for a long time. I thought we'd start out a little slow. Something like, uh, what's new? How are you? Oh, okay. So, Brenda, how are you? Okay. Good to hear it. Nick! Hey, what is wrong? My cologne too strong. No, no, your cologne's fine. Because I could wash it off. Nick, it's not the cologne. Then I don't know what it could be. I mean, when I left here, you were nuts about me. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, I know. Your feathers are a little ruffled because I was on the road for four months and never wrote you, right? Yeah, yeah, that hurts. Sure, sure. Oh, hey, and I bet your nose is out of joint because uh, when I was back, you made a special welcome home dinner for me and I forgot about it. Yeah, to be honest, Nick, that hurt too. Sure, yeah. Oh, hey, and Brenda... I bet you're a little teed off because uh, I've been back three weeks now and I never called you except for twice and I, and I haven't taken you out at all. Yeah, yeah, Nick, that made me feel real bad. Okay, okay, so now I know what the problem is. You're too sensitive. I don't think that's it. I think I make things too easy for you. You come in here, you play a few notes on your accordion, and you expect me to melt into your arms. Well, I'm not going to do that tonight, Nick. I want to know why you came over here. Okay, I'll tell you why I came over here. I came over here because I miss you. Oh, man. Hey. 
You think it was easy for me, Brenda, knowing I could see you, that we was only a subway ride apart, not being able to come over? Why couldn't you come over? I didn't have the money for the subway. Uh -oh. See, Brenda, things are really mean right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this. My, my strap is all frayed. I can't even afford a new one. Oh, Nick. I'll sew it for you. Oh, uh, I'll get a new one somehow. Look, Nick, before we go any further, I, I think you should know that uh, well, it would really put a strain on me right now if I lent you any money. Brenda, I am really surprised to hear that that's what you're thinking about me. I'm surprised and I'm hurt. I mean, that's not why I came over here. I don't want your money. No? No, I want us to live together. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, Nick. Gee, I can't afford my apartment right now. I gotta reduce my income. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Aren't you supposed to want to live with somebody because you love them and you want to be with them all the time? Hey, that's understood. What do you think? I mean, if you was a horse face, I wouldn't want to live with you. <laughs> with someone unless we're prepared to make a full commitment because we really love each other and we want to share our lives together. Brenda, it's not that great an apartment. <laughs> I think I know what the problem is, Nick. I don't trust you. I would never know if you really cared for me or if you just wanted to have a roof over your head. This does not sound like you, Brenda. Who you been talking to? Nobody. Come on, sure you have. Somebody's been poisoning your mind. I know you too well. You've been talking to someone about me, haven't you? Well, it's... Yeah, yeah, and it's somebody who obviously has a lot of bad feelings for me. Someone who was never like me, who thinks I'm lazy, that I take advantage of people, that I'm spoiled, right? I'm not... Come on, tell me the truth. I'm not saying... You've been talking to my mother? <laughs> Then it must be Rhoda. Carlton? Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. Carlton, I know the cab must be waiting. Please tell him I'll be down in about three minutes. Who's this? This is Rhoda. Oh, yeah, Rhoda. What do you want? I want a real doorman. Well, I get off at eight. <laughs> Nick! Nick, I don't know why you're here, but I have no time to talk now. I, I'm just on my way out. Yeah, that's okay. I just want to ask you one question. All right, all right. One question, ask me. What is it? Why do you hate my guts? Oh, I... What? Come on, come on. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. I know you don't like me. I just want to know, why do you hate my guts? Listen, Nick, I don't hate your guts. Do you dislike my guts? I have nothing against your guts. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know, Rhoda, because I was just down talking to Brenda, and I asked her to do a simple favor for me, and she turned me down cold. Now, I know she gets advice from you. I don't get comfortable. I just want to know one thing. Why don't you like me? Nick, you're putting me in a very difficult position here. I mean, why doesn't a person like another person? Oh, you want to know that too, huh? No, Nick, look, what I'm saying is... It's not easy. Look, I can't give you one single reason. Yeah, I couldn't come up with one either. That's why I'm so bummed out. I, mean, I don't have time for this. I'm really late, okay? Uh, Brenda? Yeah. Oh, wow. Hi, Ro. I gotta talk to you. Nick, what are you doing here? <laughs> Look, there's a problem. I'm just trying to get it straight now. Good. You two will work the problem out. I'm going downtown. Nick, I am very angry at you. You shouldn't have come up here. I told you. Rhoda has nothing to do with this. Yeah, I just want to find out for myself. So did you find out? Oh, not yet. But uh, I got her to admit that I wasn't one of her tops and pops. <laughs> hey, you know, I think that's because I haven't really been paying my dues to your sis, you know? Yeah, that's it. I gotta spend more time with her, you know? Let her see all my facets. Sure, sure. Me and Rhoda, we're gonna end up real close. 
Hey, Rhoda, let me ask you a question here. Have, have I ever been mean to you? Have I ever hit you or anything? No, I, I, I honestly say you have not. Yeah, because I could understand how you might not like me if I ever slapped you around in public or spit on your floor, you know? Yeah, well, Nick, I can say that you have not done either of those things. But I think you're making too big a deal of this. I, I really do. Um, see, I, I, we're not best friends, Nick. That's, that's true, but uh, I guess I can stand you. Okay, my okay, look, today you say you can stand me, but one day you're going to say that music man is one of my favorite dudes. Right, right. And when that day comes, Rhoda, I can walk out of here and never bug you again. That music man is one of my favorite dudes. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll be going now. Yay, I see you're a man of your word. Definitely. Uh, yeah! Rhoda! Oh, oh my God, are you all right? Oh, oh. Oh, I hope it's not broken. Oh. No, it's okay. Oh. It's just dented a little bit. <laughs> She weighs a ton. You <laughs> insisted on carrying her. Okay, okay, but you get her on the way home. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't want you to carry me, Nick. What was I going to do, roll you? <laughs> what should we do? What should we do? What First we do? thing we get organized. You stand in line. Right. I'm going to sit down, Nick, okay? Okay, chair. you got it. <sighs> Not on your lap. I don't want to sit in your lap. Hey, what are you talking about, huh? I just lugged you 12 blocks. You, you're not going to let me have a chair? <laughs> Talk about ingratitude. Ingratitude? He broke my toe, this man. Hey, it's all right. She's breaking my lap. <laughs> Take my mind. I like sitting here. You got a bum foot, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, don't expect any fast service, because they're really slow here tonight. Really? What are you here for? Profuse bleeding. <laughs> Oh, about a pint, pint and a half. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh hey. It still oh. hurts, huh? Yes, Nick, it hurts. Yeah. I'm gonna do for you what my grandpa used to do for me when I hurt, okay? A lumpy dum <laughs> Nick! Nick! Nick, Nick! Yeah, what? Do it some more. A lump <laughs> Hey, you guys, come on, come on, come on. Oh, up, Nick, up. You know, that's amazing how that takes your mind off the thing. I love freedom. I love freedom. I'm sorry, honey, but it's against hospital rules to sit on the counter. But you can lean on it. Uh, hey, miss, I am Nick Lobo, the entertainer. You know, don't you bend your rules a little for celebrities? Could mean a free album. No, thanks. I already got Lumpty Dump. Oh. <laughs> No, that's not necessary. It's okay. Thank, thank you. Nick. <laughs> Would you fill out this card, please? Yes, of course. Dr. Warner, wanted radiology. Hey, well, hello. Got anything for me today, beautiful? No, not today. Oh, hey, what is this stuff? Blood? I sure hope so. I mean, we got it out of people's arms. <laughs> Put it back, man. Hey, uh, so when do you get off? Way past your bedtime. <laughs> Hey, did you put those back in the right place? How do I know? I'm no doctor. <laughs> ah, forget it. I mix them up all the time anyway. Here you go. Okay, uh, you got any Blue Cross? No. What kind of insurance do you have? Oh, I don't have any insurance. Okay, look, this is a private hospital, and they have a rule here. If you're not covered by insurance, then you have to pay for your treatment in cash. How much is that going to cost? Well, the minimum fee for x-rays is $20. Oh, and I only got six bucks. Oh, well, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? First thing, you're going to stop saying, what are we going to do? Second thing, you're going to hand me my purse. I'll pay the lady. Oh, no. What? Oh, I didn't bring your purse. I thought you did. I brought the accordion here. <laughs> I don't know why. I, 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 I panicked and uh, grabbed the first thing that I saw. I'm sorry. You're so dumb. Not really, Bren. You never know when we'll have the urge to polka. <laughs> Hey, look, no sweat. I'm gonna run back to your apartment and get the money. Great, great, Nick, that's Yeah, gorgeous. where's the keys? Uh, in, the, in my purse. Uh, in, the, in the apartment. Look, miss, I'm good for the money. I really am. I gotta see a doctor, and I'll come first thing tomorrow and pay you. Look, I'd like to help you, but I, I've been brought once too often. Now, I mean, two weeks ago, a guy came in here, didn't have any money, so, you know, he was in a lot of pain. He said he'd pay me the next day. 
So I trusted him. You know what he did? He died. He came out of my own pocket. I am still paying for it. Talk about being stiff. <laughs> Look, maybe I'll put you on the list, but you're going to have to come up with the cash by the time I call your name, okay? Oh, terrific. Thank you very much. Oh, no carrying. I will hop. Oh. Hey, look, uh, sis, this is my fault. Uh, I got us into this, and I'm going to get us some money one way or another. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll have that 20 bucks in no time. You don't do anything crazy, Nick. Hey, hey, it's okay, little fox. Sometimes there's some things a man has to do. Watch, 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 watch. It's okay. It's okay. Over here, over here. Okay, over here. Where? 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 Right here. Right here. Right here. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, good. Time depresses. I think we're getting closer to a doctor. Hello. Hey. Oh. I'm Dr. Cooper. Oh, great. I guess you guys will have to leave. Oh, no, no. I'm not going to leave you. No, I'm not leaving your side either, sis. I mean, I got you this far, didn't I? Yeah. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> well, that's okay. They can stay. Oh, thank you. You'll see. We'll be good. Mm -hmm. Now, suppose we Just begin. one minute, Doc. I want to tell you something here. I want you to take good care of this little lady here, because this was partly my fault, and I would feel terrible if that foot had to come off. <laughs> Nick! Oh, Nick! Excuse me. Yeah, Rhoda, what? Uh, read the iPod. Oh, you want me to butt out, right? You are very quick. Hey, thank you. <laughs> See, we're getting along great, huh? Now, so why don't we get started? Your name is Rhoda Gerard. Rhoda Gerard, right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Dress? Uh, 332 mm -hmm. West 64th. So what brings you to our little emergency room? Uh, my foot. I, my toe is... <laughs> Nick, stop it. we got to be quiet. Oh, no, I'm just trying to cheer Road up. There's no reason for everything to be so grim. Nick! Gotcha. <laughs> you know what's funny? He's here and I'm examining you. <laughs> I don't know why the nurse didn't fill this stuff in. Married or single? Married. Mm -hmm. So the next of kin is your husband? Well, we're just in the process of deciding that now. Mm -hmm. See, uh, I'm separated. I see. Yeah. Uh, do you have any allergic reactions, eggs or anything? Uh-uh. Penicillin? No. On any medication? No. Are you on the pill? What does that got to do with my foot? Nothing. Just curious. <laughs> uh, doctor, why don't we just proceed directly to the foot? All right. Which foot is it? I'm not sure. Let's start with the one that's purple and swollen. <laughs> this? Hmm. This hurt? No. How about this? No, no. Ah! I guess that's it, huh? Yeah. I, I'm sorry, Doctor. I'd really like to take some pictures of this foot. Everybody in this place is a freak. <laughs> okay, into the chair. Oh, you can't get down. Mm -hmm. Is that really necessary? Yes. I feel so silly. I mean, it's just a toe. It's all right. Someone will be by to wheel you into x-ray. Okay. I'll see you later. Thank you. See, yeah, hey, hey, you're going to get x-ray now. You're going to get all fixed up. We all had a chance to spend the evening together. I think everything's working out great. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Nick. I wonder why Rhoda didn't invite you up to drop an accordion on it for a long time ago. <laughs> hey, hey, the heat's coming from the wrong radiator here. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Nick, how can you ask that after the things you've done? Well, no, this is not right. I shouldn't be doing this while Rhoda has a problem. Oh, no, no, no. Stop on my account, please. <laughs> what have I done? What have you done? What has he done? What has he done? Tell me. I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, boy, is this hard. It's not so hard. Tell him. <laughs> okay? Okay? The first thing was... You asked if we could live together just because you were short on money. He did that? You did that? I should be ashamed of that. I'm not ashamed of that. Asking you to become 
Sort of Mrs. Nick Lobo? Sort of, sort of. Rhoda, 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 please, please, please. Another thing, Nick, was... I thought it was really crummy the way you barged in on Rhoda and put her on a spot. What's so crummy? Plenty is crummy. Why? <sighs> tell him. Tell him. You broke her toe, that's what. You didn't care about her foot. All you cared about was a dumb dent in your accordion. You didn't even apologize. So as much as I care about you, I think I may have just about had it with you, Nick Lobo. <laughs> hey... That is some pretty heavy noise, little one. And I'm not going to let you take any of that back, you know. You think I can't apologize? I'm sorry. <laughs> you talk a lot about crummy here. You want to know what's crummy? The way you've been treating me. Sure, it's easy to pick on a big guy when he's down. He's got no money. Got no roof over his head. Doesn't know where his next strap is coming from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, chicks can cry, but us guys, we gotta go out there, walk the streets alone. No one for company but my faithful squeeze box. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Gimpy. <laughs> we had some great times together. Brenda, Bren. Nick! Nick, why do I feel guilty? I'm the one with the broken foot. Uh, wait, Nick, wait. You can't leave, Nick. You just can't. Now, please stay. She doesn't want me. Oh, sure she does. I know she does. Brenda? Brenda, Brenda. Donna, now listen, if you want Nick to stay, it's fine with me. You just tell him you want him to stay, okay? What? Did you hear that, Nick? Did you hear that? Did you hear what she said? Yeah, yeah, good. But how do I know she really means... Okay, I'll find out. <laughs> uh, if you will wheel me over there. <laughs> it's been awful without you, Nick. <laughs> I feel like a third, fourth, and fifth wheel. <laughs> Kids, why don't you take your rack down into the hallway there? Wait for me outside. I'm going to be fine. Are you sure? Absolutely, Brad. Okay, Brandon. come on. Sure. You're just going to x-ray me and fix me up. I'll see you later. Okay. Are you the one I'm supposed to shave? <laughs> I knew you'd have a little trouble getting around after last night, so I went out and did a little shopping for you. You're kidding. Hey, it's the least I could do, huh? How really nice of you. That's sweet. But wait a minute. I thought you were broke. Where'd you get the money to pay for these groceries? Hey, I found out you can make more money outside that hospital when it's not raining. <laughs> 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 